Hello world! Today we're working on a 2007 Kia Sorento. Now this is going to apply from 2007 to 2009. And as you saw, I removed the bracket that holds the battery. Now I'm going to remove the terminals. Bring in the battery holder. Let's get this out of the way. Here we have these four 12 millimeter bolts holding the battery tray to the frame and there are some plastic clips that we do have to get out of the way as well And here on the side there is going to be a 10 millimeter nut that has to get removed because it's holding the ECU to the bracket. It's a weird little setup that they did, but just trust me on this one. Move that. Now we can get the tray out of the way. All right, let's see if we can give everybody a decent angle with proper lighting. Down here is a 14 millimeter nut. Or is it a 14? I think it's a 14 or a 12. Oy. All right, we need a 14 millimeter for the tensioner. Although I did have to do this twice because it got stuck as you will see shortly. I'm going to show you guys because if for some reason you don't start at the right angle, the ratchet or pry bar or whatever you're using is going to get stuck on the frame. See, I'm about to loosen the belt and then I come down and we got stuck right here. You can work your way with that being on there, but I do not want to deal with that today. So I'm going to quickly reinstall the belt back on, get the proper angle. So we still have leverage, remove the belt. And there we go. Although that slipped off my hands. Didn't have a good enough grip. Anyways, here we go with the 14 millimeter up top. There's really only two bolts holding this alternator. So it's nice and easy. The only thing that I and other people will struggle with is wiggling it out uh, because it's slightly pressed on there. And if you're doing this, and obviously you will know exactly what I'm talking about once you get to that point. Alright, that one's out. Now I brought in the little pry bar. It's not that little, but... Now we're gonna get to play the wiggle game. Yes, you heard that right, the wiggle game. So, please remember that right now the positive cable and harness connector are still on there. They're down where my right hand is. Now I had to change the camera angle because the camera was in the way. So I would like to say that I made this look easy because it just came out, but I should have included the video of the struggle of how tedious it can be to get that guy out of the way. But anyways, all right, so we got our connector removed.
Now it's time to disconnect the positive cable. Yeah, so once you have this out, it's pretty easy. But most of the time, it is a struggle just to wiggle it out properly and get it out comfortably, I would say. Alright, so when you do put the new one in, start by putting on the positive cable and you can tighten it. I, I would because you don't really have access to it afterwards. Alright, so there's that 12 millimeter nut. At least it should be in 12 millimeter. Now try not to over tighten this guy or else you'll have other problems that you will soon find out. Not in this video obviously, but maybe in somebody else's video. I don't know if they decide to show you that. Alright, those two things are connected. Now a little bit more of the wiggle game, trying to slide it back. The main harness does get in the way a little bit, so you have to move that as much as possible. I'm trying to think of what would be the easiest way. Obviously put in the lower part first. And move the harness as far back as possible that way you can get it into its proper slot see there you go so once that is on there it does make life easier see wiggle wiggle just like i said all right now i'm gonna slide in the bottom bolt once you have it you know on the bracket sliding on there everything's easy but just getting it to slide on there can be a little bit annoying that's the word I'm gonna go with annoying because it can be. All right, so let's secure these bolts so that we have all we have to do is hand tighten them afterwards but man these bolts are a little oily due to the valve cover gasket le previously leaking so normal but annoying why am I using the so you know what today I am using the word annoying that's the word of the day annoying and saying the word annoying will probably get annoying you know what I mean Okay, once you've reached this step and you know you tighten these buggers back up, everything is pretty straightforward. You go back the same way you came, make sure everything's connected, everything's secured, make sure to route the belt properly. If you do need the diagram for this vehicle, the wiring, <laughs> my apologies. If you need the serpentine belt diagram for this vehicle, leave a comment and I will post it. Or if I can find it before finishing this, then I will I will actually try to stick it on here. That way everybody has it. Okay. So I will let you guys watch this part while I go find that belt diagram. And while I'm doing that, you guys will hit the like button, right? Right? Yes, because that helps me. Okay, you guys are on your own now. I'm gonna go do my thing. You guys go do your thing. Hit that like button. And I will go get you guys that belt diagram. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.